Last night, reports from Italy, and this is important, where this story originates from is hugely important to the context of this rumour. But the reports state that West Ham have made a contract offer to former Spain, Real Madrid and more recently Wolves manager Julian Lopetegui. Now, since that report's come out, Jacob Steinberg and an ex-West Ham employee have both gone on to state that this is false, it's not true. West Ham have made no approaches to any other manager. And while uncertainty remains over David Moyes, it's expected, Jacob Steinberg especially, expects David Moyes to go at the end of the season. West Ham have yet to decide which manager they want. So that's the update and clarification from a West Ham perspective on the reports which originate from Italy. But those reports itself stated that AC Milan might want Lopetegui as manager, that they are willing to offer him a two-year contract because they're parting ways with their manager in the summer, so they're in the market for a new gaffer, and Lopetegui is one of the options, but they were unsure as to whether Lopetegui would sign with AC Milan because he's already received a contract offer and a lucrative one from West Ham. That's what the report was claiming. That's where it's originated from, and that's why it's come from the Italian media side of things, and why I'm paying little attention to it. More interestingly, actually, despite the fact that this report's claiming West Ham have offered a manager a contract, but because I don't believe that, I found it more interesting was a little bit at the bottom, which said the alternative for AC Milan would be Lille manager... Francesca, who obviously we are reportedly interested in as well. But I think because I believe that rumour more that we would perhaps consider Francesca, because I believe that, that's why I find that part of the report a little bit more interesting. But that's what the report's claimed anyway. That's what we're going to be discussing today. I'm going to give my opinion on the report itself, although I think you can guess which direction I'm heading in. Um, I'm going to be discussing why I do not want Lopetegui as the next West Ham United manager. But before I go any further, if you're new around here and you enjoy this video, about one third of you are yet to subscribe to the channel. So please do consider subscribing. We're close to 38,000 subscribers and to hit that today would be quite pleasant. But regardless of whether you're new or old, as in subscribers, not age-wise, but actually anybody, everybody that enjoys this video, please do drop a like on it by clicking thumbs up. Helps out the video, helps out the channel, makes me very happy. And generally, helps a lot more than you think just by clicking that like button it takes you about three seconds if you did it when i told you to i'm 20 seconds ago would have been done by now anyway let's discuss these reports i don't believe it for a second that we've offered any manager a contract including the current one i don't believe we've offered any manager i wouldn't be surprised the club are unaware as to who they want as the manager next season because quite frankly i do not trust david sullivan but so i'm dismissing that report off the bat of it i think it's agent talk. Lopetegui is unemployed. AC Milan job's coming up. The West Ham job's likely to come up. What better way than to sort of play chicken with two clubs and link your manager to two clubs and try and get them to make a move for your man? It's the perfect agent plot, this one. And of course, Lopetegui would be interested in West Ham job. I do believe that part. Why wouldn't he? Post Wolves, he remained in England for some period of time. He may still be in England, I do not know. But I know for... A few months anyway, he hadn't left and he was sort of waiting to see which Premier League clubs came up, if he could get another Premier League job. And I'm sure he will, if he was to wait long enough, he would get one. Maybe even the West Ham one. I hope not. I don't want him here. But could I see us going for him? The Sullivan's in charge, and yes, I could. But I, I, I don't want him. I'll discuss why in a second. But Lopetegui has seen the Palace one come and go and wasn't in the frame for that one, and Glasner got it. But this guy, when he left Wolves last summer, when he left Wolves just as the season was getting underway, David Moyes' job was already potentially up for grabs this summer. Last summer, we all, I say we all knew, everybody expected it. to David Moyes would see it last year of his contract and move on. I think Lopetegui might be expecting it as well. So if he's decided to wait around and hope to get the West Ham one, I understand why. Why would you not want to manage in the Premier League? He probably feels he's got a bit of unfinished business in the Premier League as well because of the reason he departed Wolves. But also, why would you not want the West Ham job? It's going to be a very attractive position. My concern isn't which managers could be attract. That's not my worry because I'm quite confident we could attract most. I'm quite confident we could afford most. My concern is about who picks the manager. Well, simply, that's it. Who's picking it? Is it Sullivan or is it Steiden? Because I asked, this, despite some reports that it's going to be Tim Steiden led, I have my reservations that that will be allowed by David Sullivan. I just do not trust David Sullivan. Quite frankly, that's it. But anyway, in regards to that report, I'm not bothered by it. I don't believe it whatsoever. 
and I see no reason to agent talk. But in regards to let's play the hypothetical situation. Let's just play hypothetical. West Ham would want Lopetegui. I don't want him at West Ham. Now, it's not doubting his ability as a manager. I think he's a good manager. I think he's a really good manager. Look at his CV. It's quite impressive. He's won the Europa League. He's won trophies at Spain. I think there's been a little bit of turmoil pretty much everywhere he's been. At Spain, he wouldn't let his players negotiate a transfer away because of the tournament. And while meanwhile, he was negotiating to go into Real Madrid and end up having to leave before the tournament underway because of his contract with Real Madrid. The way he left Wolves, and that's the reason I don't want him. But it's been a bumpy career for him. And like I said, his football, I'm not his biggest fan of it. And I'm going by Wolves. I'm going by his most recent appointment, by what I've seen from him at the Molyneux. It was okay. It was okay. And my biggest gripes with David Moyes is the playing style slash lack of entertainment, the lack of youth being introduced into the team. And I don't think Lord Petitgue addresses those situations. I don't think he ticks the boxes. The issues I have with David Moyes, I don't think Lord Petitgue necessarily blows them out of the water like some other managers do and some other managers would. Like I said, I'm not trying to compare ability. I'm not saying he's a better manager than David Moyes. I just don't think he would satisfy me as a West Ham fan. He would not be my number one choice. Quite frankly, I don't think he'd be in the top 10 choices. Not doubting his ability. But the biggest reason I don't want him is for the reason he left Wolves. Because he had an issue regarding the transfer strategy, the transfer plans, the lack of spending at that club. He wasn't happy with it. He ended up leaving via mutual consent just before the season started because he was unhappy. He wasn't getting his way. He used the media all through pre-season to sort of prepare people for his departure. He's calling out the board to some extent and off he went. And I just don't see how that would be any different here at West Ham. And I don't want it to be any different here at West Ham. I don't want us to employ a manager that demands control of the transfers. We've just had, and to what extent depends on who and what you believe and read, but, but I think we can all agree there's been some sort of conflict between David Moyes, David Sullivan and Tim Stiden. There's been some sort of disagreements. And I think disagreements and debate can be healthy. And it's important when it's done in the right way, but not when you have a January transfer window like we just had. If you said to me, you know, I say people who did, it came out. Post-summer transfer window, there was a lot of disagreements. But I looked at the summer transfer window, I thought, but it's, it's turned out all right, actually. Caduce, Alvarez... I didn't know much about Marv Panos. I was a bit wary of the War House one. But I still think it's been an, it was an okay summer transfer. It wasn't bad. We could have maybe have done a bit better. I would have liked one more player in the summer, an attacking player. But for their first transfer window together, I thought it was okay. But the January transfer window was horrific. And if that is the result of conflict and disagreements between those three, what we cannot do is enter into a situation with a new manager where we're going to have the same issues, where we're going to have the new manager, Tim Stein and David Sullivan, disagreeing on which players to buy and which direction to go in and how much to spend on which positions, etc, etc, etc. We have to avoid that scenario as much as possible at all costs. And the only way to do that is to go down this route that a lot of clubs are going down now, which is the head coach role, where Tim Stein is giving control of the transfers. He's in charge of player recruitment. And the guy that replaces David Moyes is in charge of the training ground and using the players that Stiden brings in. That has to be the way that West Ham are going forward to utilise and to take advantage of having Tim Stiden. And if we are not going to do that, if we are going to employ Julian Lopetegui or a manager of that ilk like David Moyes, which is they demand control of transfers and they must have their way in the transfer window, then you might as well let Tim Stiden go. Because if you ain't going to take advantage of him being here, if you're not going to utilise his skills, his knowledge, his contacts, then what's the point? What's the point? He was handcuffed in the January transfer window. The last thing we can do is go into the summer one, and before it's even begun, he's already up against it because the manager wants X, Y, Z, and it's not who Tim Stiden wants. We can't have the January transfer window repeating itself in the summer one. And I just don't think, I strongly don't think, Lopetegui is the head coach kind of guy that we need at this club in order to work under Tim Stiden. Because when... I did a video last week about how Tim Stiden has been in Brazil scouting players and one of the names have come out, it escapes me who it is, but there's a, a certain 
player based in Brazil that's not come out that West Ham apparently wants him. And one of the subscribers said, but how can we go after, how can we be doing the scouting when we don't know who the manager is? That's exactly what we should be doing, in my opinion. The club should be creating this culture, this identity, this philosophy of how we play football and bringing in the players to match that philosophy and then finding a head coach to fit what they're trying to do. And you don't want to... I feel like Leverkusen's become the new Brighton who were the new Brentford. A few years ago, Brentford was... Why can't it be like them? And then it was Brighton. Now it's Leverkusen. Why can't it be like them? But I do think the Leverkusen one's got a bit more credibility given where we've got Tim Sliding from. There, there's more credibility to look at Leverkusen and go, well, why can't we have a bit of that, actually? And also... Leverkusen do it differently in terms of money than what Brighton and Brentford do. In one's opinion, of course. But that's exactly what they did at Leverkusen. They brought in players to fit the, they, the way they want to play. Then they rec recruited a manager, head coach. They recruited Xabi Alonso. Not the first one. Listen, they went. They had to go through, through a few managers who didn't do well enough at Leverkusen. They didn't get right like that. They had to get a few wrong before they got to Xabi Alonso. They needed a few frogs before they got the prince. And boy, is he a, he's one handsome prince, isn't he? Anyway... We might not get it right. Whoever we get in next may not be the right guy. We might get it wrong. But what we have to do is foolproof ourselves so that if we do get it wrong, it's easy to sack him and go get the next guy and hopefully that one's right. But what you cannot do is need an overhaul and a rebuild every single time you change manager because that's exactly what's happened at West Ham in the past. To, to go with the recent ones... Allardyce to Village, complete change in the way we play. Then to David Moyes, then to Pellegrini, and I've got a worry that Lopetegui would almost be Pellegrini II at West Ham. And then back to David Moyes. There's some, there's some, there's two players that played yesterday at Selhurst Park. Two players played yesterday that played under, well, three that played at Upton Park. Creswell, Antonio, Ogbonna. Creswell played under Sam Allardyce. Creswell played under Sam Allardyce at West Ham. Back in 2014-2015. Ten, nine, nine years ago. Nine years ago. And he's still here. And I love Creswell, but my point is... We've still got a guy from that squad back then, despite the style changing, the managers changing. But we've also had a lot of turnover in terms of players as well because Moyes will come in and go I don't want to work with those players of Pellegrini's I can't work with those players of Pellegrini's we cannot have that situation I just think Lopetegui would cause the problems that David Moyes has caused in regards to the transfers this season we can't do it we need Tim Steinden needs to be the most important man at West Ham United going forward and I'm still what's the word Waiting. I'm still waiting for something from Tim Steiden. Love his work at Leverkusen. And this is where if you were a subscriber last summer, you'll know how excited I was for Tim Steiden coming here. But I'm still waiting. Pearl Diver. Well, let's see some pearls. Going and getting the two best players from Ajax doesn't really count, in my opinion. Go get. Let's, let's see what you come up with. This guy we're being linked to Brazil. Great. That's what I want to see. But it's important that the guy we get in can work with those players. And will allow us to bring in those players. Julian Lopetegui. I'm far, far, far from convinced that he would be that man. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the in the comments below. Keep it hypothetical. You don't have to believe the report. But what do you think of Lopetegui as the next potential manager of West Ham? Get involved. I'll be back a little later on to catch up with you all. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. You should have done it at the very start of the video. But nevertheless, if you haven't done it yet, please do. Be helps out the video. Subscribe to Hammer's Chat. Catch up with you tomorrow.